24 hours ago, we were tracking downpours across Connecticut, especially in the southeastern part of the state where one to two inches of rain fell in the Hartford area. We picked up uh, just enough to bring us to 0.65 inches for the month of September. We we're looking at another top five or rather a top five driest uh, September on record, but we're going to hold off because since we could see an isolated shower at some point this week, you know, currently we're tied for third. There's a chance that we end up somewhere else on that ranking. We're not expecting any significant rainfall by any means, which any means, which means our uh, deficits of over three inches are expected to grow as we enter the final days of the month. Over the last six hours, we have seen cloud cover locally. These showers, some moisture associated with the remnants of Helene's trying to make their way here, but drier air from high pressure winning out right now. Here's the remnants of Helene spinning out over Kentucky, uh, where it meets up with Indiana and Illinois. These will eventually move back east and we'll tell you uh, what we're expecting with those here in just a second. High pressure is really the dominating feature for us over the next couple of days. First Lord Futurecast shows it dropping in. At the same time, Helene's remnants will be moving through Kentucky, back through West Virginia and ultimately end up to our south uh, later next week. We will have high pressure on our side, helping to keep us dry. Bit of a squeeze play between the two, so winds end up out of the east, and we'll likely see a lot of cloud cover. Maybe tomorrow, an isolated sprinkle. Our eye cam view right now in Rocky Hill, looking north to Hartford. Overhead, we can see some cloud cover, and here's the eye cam, our eye cam view rather in Old Saybrook. Similar sky conditions right now, uh, and that's the case overnight tonight, becoming even cloudier, and maybe an isolated shower by daybreak tomorrow. Upper 50s, low 60s inland, 60 to 65 along the shoreline. It is just a touch muggy in some locations with dew points back in the up, uh, mid 60s too. tomorrow 70 to 75 across most of Connecticut, but parts of northwestern Connecticut could only make it into the upper 60s given the increased cloud cover. And if we see an isolated shower, it will really favor southwestern parts of the state. If you're heading to Yukon to see them take on the Buffalo Bulls, it's noon kickoff at the rent in East Hartford. So beforehand, we're in the mid and upper 60s for tailgating and then we're into the lower 70s, lower half of the 70s. That is for game time itself, looking a little more like fall across Connecticut looking a lot more like fall across portions of the Berkshires and northern New England. Moderate to high foliage popping up. If you head north, especially into the northern section of the Berkshires, you'll likely see uh, quite a bit more color on the leaves. Here's Helene's remnants. We have Isaac, a Category 1 hurricane. Joyce, a tr uh, tropical storm right now. No impact expected from Isaac or Joyce. They're out in the middle of the uh, ocean and will keep moving away from land. And he, again, here's Joyce right now, winds of 50 miles per hour. But there are two spots the National Hurricane Center continues to monitor. One just behind Joyce, a medium chance of formation. And we see a low chance of formation in the uh, Caribbean Sea and into the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll be watching all of this very closely. Back home on the First Lord seven-day forecast, isolated showers tomorrow, keeping the clouds around Sunday. And on Monday, we could see just a few breaks of sun, a little bit milder by Monday. Perhaps a shower Tuesday as clouds thicken back up with scattered showers expected in the middle of next week. Your first alert to some wetter weather. Temperatures in the upper 60s the middle of next week.